Hello, it's Chem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine file tutorial. In this video, we are going to create this leaning system that you can see here on the screen now. I will show you if we go, for example, to here and we lean to the left, we can see over the or behind the corner basically. So, yeah, let's get started. So what we want to do first, we want to go to the edit and to the project settings because we will have to add some input mappings. So let's go to the input and here we already have this interact mapping, uh, interact uh, action mapped to E key. So I will actually change it to F because I want to map the lean right to the E key. Okay. You can obviously use whatever mappings you want, but I think these are pretty good. So interact will be F and action mapping. Let's add a new one. And this will be called lean left. Let's add another one. It will be called lean right. Okay. And lean left, I will map it to Q and lean right to E. Simple as that. Okay. Now we can close this these project settings. And now we will have to go to the PP player character. Let's open it. And here, let's go to the event craft and let's find some empty space. And uh, maybe from here. And now what we want to do is we want to search for a lean left action events and also let's right click under here and lean right action event like that now what we want to do is we want to actually create few new variables so let's create a new one this will be called lean target value and it will be type uh, float. Okay, now let's go to the category of the variable and let's create a new category called leaning, like that. Now we can duplicate this variable and we want to change it or rename it to be lean left pressed and we want to change the type to boolean. Okay, now let's duplicate it once more and we want to change this to lean, right, pressed. Okay, and it will also be boolean. These are all the variables that we will need here on the BP player character. Now I will compile and save all just to be sure. Next thing that we want to do here on the input action lean left. When we click this, what we want to do we want to first get the lean left pressed variable and we want to set it like this and we want to set it to true. So when we click the input action lean left, it will set this variable to true. And after that, we want to set the lean target value. And when we are leaning to left, we want to set it to minus 25. You can play with this later, but for now, you should leave it like this. Okay. Now we have these two here. What we want to do next is when we release this key, we want to set the lean left pressed back to false. And you will understand soon why well, well we have this here. Now we want to add a branch. So B and left click, and connect it to here. And what we want to check here is if we have lean right pressed. Okay, like this. So, actually, I think I should put it here. So, after we have checked if we have lean right rest, then from the true, we want to set the lean target value and we want to set it to positive. 
25. Okay? Here, when we're leaning left, we will set it to minus 25. And when we release it, we will check if we have the this key also pressed. If we do have, we will set it to its value, so 25. And if we don't have it pressed, then we will set it to zero, like this, okay? So it will, or he will stop leaning. Now let's move this lean right input action a little bit uh, uh, down here. And what we want to do next, we want to do this same, but other way around. So on the pressed, we want to lean right pressed, set to true. And lean target value, we want to set it to this value. So positive 25. And from the released, we want to set the lean right pressed to back to false, like this. And then we want to get a branch, so B and left click. And here we want to check the lean left pressed, if it's true or false. So if we have this here pressed, and if we do have it pressed, then we want to set our lean target value from the true to minus 25. Okay, and if we don't have it pressed, we can just copy this here and we want to set it back to zero. So, lean left pressed, true, false, here like this, lean target value, minus 25 here, positive 25 and zero here, right pressed, true, false, uh, lean target value, positive 25, and here, if the left is pressed, minus 25, if not, it's zero. Now we can compile, we can save all, and we can go back to the third person map. Now we want to go to our animation blueprint. So to the animation, animations folder, app player. And here in the app player, what we want to do first. Uh, we actually only need the event craft for now. So let's go to the event craft. Uh, sorry, craft. I don't know why I'm saying craft. <laughs> okay, but here where we are getting other variables from the player reference here on the middle. Let's also get from this, which is the player ref. Okay, I have this thing here on. I will have to turn it off. I think there was some kind of uh, shortcut to turn the turn this off, but. Let's actually do it this way. I think it was like a tooltip. Uh, bin value inspection tooltip. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, somebody told me some kind of uh, shortcut to that, but I don't remember it anymore. But yeah. Okay. That's off now. So from here, from the player ref, we want to get our lean, get lean target value. And let's get it to here. And let's also add a reroute to here for the future when we maybe need to get some other values from the player ref. Now let's promote this to a variable. And lean target value, okay. It should be like that. Now let's also create a category to here, which will be called leaning. Okay. And yeah, we are now let's duplicate this uh, lean target value. So it's uh, under the leaning as default. Now let's change this name to current leaning uh, value or something like that. And let's actually move it over the lean target value like that. Now, one more thing, let's create one more variable to here. Let's call it leaning speed. Now let's compile and let's set this leaning speed default value to like five, okay? Also let's compile and save again and actually I will save all because I have one unsaved thing here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to find our character rotation, which is here at the bottom. 
let's open it by double clicking and here we have this sequence what we want to do is we want to add a new pin here so pin 2 uh, sorry 10 2 and what we want to do here is we want to get our current leaning value let's actually first go down here let's set the current leaning value here maybe here and let's connect this to the 10 2 and let's add a reroute like always let's put it around here with the same uh, line with this okay it doesn't actually matter but yeah now from the current leaning value we want to f interp 2 so we will interpolate uh, between two values so the current will of course be the current leaning value we get and here and the target will be our lean target value I think it should be called target leaning value. Let's actually rename it to that. Target leaning value. I think that sounds better. And let's connect it to the target. And now from the delta time, we want to get world delta seconds like this. And yep, I think it, this is not looking very good. I will make this align better okay now it's better and f to the inter interp speed we want to connect the leaning speed and remember to change this default values uh, value if you leave it to zero this will not work so remember to change this to five for example compile save so the next thing one more thing that we have to do is we will have to go to our anim craft Graph, sorry. <laughs> and here, I will move the control rig a little bit further here. And so, what we want to do here now, we have all these transform modify bone things here. We will have to add some code to here. So, first, let's get our current leaning value let's connect it to the y pitch okay and let's actually move this up here and let's also make all this align oh like this and press Q okay now it looks better so we're getting our current leaning value and connecting it to the rotation so I will show you what it does compile now when we change this current leaning value you can see our character is starting to rotate but we will have to add some more code here because otherwise it will not look good because your uh, character is not basically leaning enough to the side and his body is rotating a lot so I will show you quickly how it looks so compile save and let's play okay this is lagging so much why is that okay so when I lean it will look like this but there is one problem when I'm here and I lean we cannot see over the corner so how can we fix that we can fix it by adding some movement or like translation to the bones also so how can we do that let's actually select this whole uh, bottom line here let's move it a little bit further down like this so we can fit some more things between actually let's move it even more like that now what we want to do we want to get from the current leaning value and we want to multiply it by minus 0.8 minus 0 0.8 and let's connect it to the x like that and why are these not 
aligned correctly. Oh, now this is not good anymore. <laughs> ah, I will select all these, move it down a little bit and align. Okay, now it's good. So we will add minus 0.5 of that value to the uh, translation. So the basically we will move the bone. So now when we compile, let's check this uh, mesh. You can see it is looking like this, but now it looks all stretched because we move the bones to the side uh, and it basically stretched the whole thing. So how can we fix that? Is by we will have to get the current leaning value one more time, and then we want to get a uh, the absolute float. So it will always set this value to positive. And now what we want to do, we want to multiply it by minus 0.3, minus 0 0.3. So now it will change it to negative and multiply the value by 0.3. So now we will have to connect to the set. And now what it does when we compile, it moves the bones also downwards a little bit. So now when we change the current leaning value here, you can see our leaning movement is not perfect. It's still stretching a little bit. Here on the 25, it's not looking that good, but we cannot see our character. You can see it's working pretty nicely. And you can obviously play with these values, this and this, and also the this here, you don't have to set it to 25. But yeah, now when we compile, we save all and we go to the level and we play. Let's see if our, why does it lean when the game starts? Let's actually check that soon, but yeah. Let's go to here and press Q like this. You can see we are leaning a lot more to the side like this. And also everything works even when we have the flashlight in... Oh, I just noticed one thing. We have the interact map to the same key as the flashlight. So let's also fix that soon. But now when we press E and Q, the flashlight will also rotate with us and it looks pretty nice. But now let's uh, fix the input thing. So here to the input and our flashlight, let's map it to something else. Let's map it to like C for now. So it's not the same key. And also why was the, why was our player leaning on the start? Let's actually check here. Target current leaning value. Okay, let's set that to zero and target leaning value zero. Uh, compile save, I will have to check from here. Current target that's zero. Uh, zero. Hmm, why does that happen? Okay, it's not happening anymore. I think it was because of the, because of uh, this value. But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.